Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Gavin Ray. I'm a community engineer and evangelist at Hasura. And uh, today we're going to do a brief overview of a new breed of type safe GraphQL clients. Um, so before we get into this, uh, for those of you who may be new to the ecosystem, it's good to maybe have some background context. Um, when GraphQL was still new, um, you know, 2015, 2016, and you wanted to have type safe uh, interactions with your client, uh, what that would look like is really something like this, right? Uh, you didn't have any kind of tooling available uh, for you to auto-generate things. So there was a lot of manual interface writing. Uh, you were declaring fetch functions and just writing it yourself. And it was, you know, very, very Java-y, uh, a lot of manual repetition. And that was just the state of things. So you fast forward some years and around 2018, at this point, uh, Facebook has their uh, Relay TS compiler plugin. We start to see GraphQL code gen emerge and these tools are revolutionary because what they allow you to do is um, sort of develop schema first or database model first. So your database and your schema become the source of truth and your client code is generated from that. Uh, which just reduces errors and increases developer productivity and is fantastic. Uh, and this code is safe. Um, so GraphQL code gen, if you are familiar with that fantastic tool, the way that it works is that it takes a schema. Uh, you, you have some operations inside of your client application, specific operations, and you have plugins uh, for languages or tools you want to integrate with. And it generates specific operations that have the requests and response types just for those particular uh, operations uh, because it sort of introspects them. Um, but now we have something uh, which I assume you're attending because you saw this um, that is uh, a little bit different. And there's a recent set of libraries that sort of lean on uh, TypeScript compiler. Uh, and what they're able to do is uh, take your schema and they generate a single client. And what they do is they take an input uh, object and they can dynamically infer uh, the return type based on the arguments you pass for uh, selection sets and input parameters. And so instead of manually writing a bunch of queries uh, and then having to refactor them if your schema changes, you just uh, you know, run one CLI command and this entire SDK is generated. It contains your whole database or GraphQL API schema in it uh, and it's fully type safe. And this is uh, really stellar. So, uh, you know, what, what, what are these tools and uh, where, do, where do you get them, uh, which is, I'm sure, why you're watching this. So I'm aware of and I have used uh, two libraries with this pattern. Um, so the first is a library called GraphQL Zeus, and it's at this uh, URL. We'll share the link. And the other one is a library called GenQL. Um, by a person named Remorses. Uh, they're very similar, uh, evaluate them both. And uh, you're probably wondering, well, uh, how do I use this? What, what does it integrate with? And the answer is it integrates with everything. And that probably sounds ridiculous, um, but I'm gonna explain how uh, and why uh, that's possible and kind of show you how we integrate that with Hasura. Uh, using an example of Apollo Client and React. So um, what I have here is uh, an Apollo Client being pulled in in TypeScript and then a generated GraphQL Zeus type uh, that was run using just a single command against our Hasura URL. And uh, what, uh, what has been created are just wrapper functions around the, the use hooks and you have these value types that extend your, your query, your operation, your mutation root, and it sort of leverages uh, TypeScript's ability to uh, inference and work with generics uh, to return a response. And the reason why this works is because what Zeus.query does here is just takes an object and it returns a query string, and then GQL just returns a GraphQL node. So you can feed this into any tool, um, any HTTP client, and it'll run perfectly. Uh, 
And so uh, what you see here are both the React and uh, the React component and the non-component, non-hook uh, wrapped methods of Apollo client. So yeah, uh, I hope you found this presentation useful. Mm -hmm.